In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own personalized canvas tote bag using glitter iron on and regular iron on. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Diet, and welcome to Turtle Creativity, where we make crafting and crocheting easy. For today, I'm very, very excited because today I'm going to share with you how you can personalize your very own canvas tote bag. Now, for today's project, you will need a canvas tote bag, some iron on I'll be using glitter iron on and some regular iron on You will need a heat press. Now, for this project, I'll be using my Cricut Easy Press and Cricut's Easy Press Mat. You'll need a weeding tool and some scissors. You'll also need a Teflon sheet to go on top of your iron on. Now, the most important thing that I'll be using today to create this wonderful canvas bag is my Cricut Maker. Let's get crafting now. Okay, I'm just gonna roll up my sleeves just a tad. Now, the first thing that you would need to do is to think about what image you would like to put on your canvas bag. Once you have thought about it and selected exactly what you want your canvas bag to say and what colors you would like to use, you can then go ahead and create that image in Design Space if you're using a Cricut Maker. I have already did that ahead of time. So for my image, I will be using a bingo image for my canvas bag. That will go at the bottom. And then the person who this bag is for, my second mom, Dawn, her name will go at the top. Now, once you have done that, you will go ahead and cut out those images. Once you have cut out those images, you would then go ahead to weed out those images. Now, I've already went ahead and weeded out the glitter portion of my bag. Now, the name, Don, I will go ahead and weed that out now. already weeded out, we are ready to press this image on my canvas bag. The temperature settings for an easy press to press on canvas is 350 degrees. I've already went ahead and set my easy press for this temperature. What I'm going to do now is actually press out the wrinkles that are in my canvas bag. You always want to start out with a nice smooth surface. That sound means it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my Easy Press back into the cradle. The first image that I'm gonna press is the bingo image. So I'm going to place this image in between the two handles. I'm using that as my guide. So making sure that's in the center. I'm also gonna take the name and put it in the middle just to make sure that when I press this, it is in perfect spacing. So I'm gonna scoot this up just a tad, shift it over so it can be center. And again, I'm using my handles as my guide. Placing my name down just to make sure everything is even. for this project. Okay, now it's ready to press. Just gonna move that. Okay, so taking our Teflon,
Teflon sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and put my easy press down, pushing start. I'm doing it for 30 seconds and I'm pushing down as hard as I can. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my easy press back into the cradle and I'm going to move my Teflon sheet off and I'm gonna wait a few minutes while it cools down. Now we're ready to pull off the plastic carrier. <laughs> okay, putting the carrier aside, we're gonna get ready to put my second mom's name at the top. So I'm going to place her name in the middle of the two handles and making sure that the name falls in between the middle of the image as well. Okay, just adjusting it, just wanna make sure that it's good, bringing it up a tad. And now we're ready to press this. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Teflon sheet, placing it over my image taking my easy press out, and I'm gonna press it again for 30 seconds. That sound means it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that back into my carrier, move my Teflon sheet, and now I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes before I remove that plastic carrier. Now we can go ahead and remove the plastic carrier. Once both images are in place, I'm now going to go ahead and put the Teflon sheet over top of it to give it one final press. I'm gonna go ahead and place my Easy Press back into the carrier, moving my Teflon sheet over. Here is our finished personalized canvas tote bag. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe for more.